In this lecture, we will cover MM1 with finite source. This is the last topic of this lecture. We have been assuming infinite customers so far, but in reality, there are times when a limited number of customers are available. The examples that we considered were a nurse or a doctor who are serving a limited number of patients at a time and booked customers only. In addition, we can consider an engineer who is in charge of fixing a limited number of machines in a factory. With a uh, finite population, the nature of distribution changes from independent to dependent relationship between the length of, uh, big, uh, of the queue and the arrival rate. Here are the formula that reflect such changes. So we have a probability uh, that the system is empty, P0, and average length of the queue, LQ, and average number of customers in the system, L, and average waiting time in the system, WQ, average time in the system, W, and probability of N units in the system is PN. And the notice that we are using N, the uppercase N, as the uh, uh, finite uh, population. It's not infinite, but we have finite population. And so uh, what makes complicated, we have this uh, sum, summation, and that makes uh, our calculation more uh, uh, complicated than before. The case in point is Department of Commerce. Uh, the Department of Commerce has five printers that each need repair after about 20 hours of work. Uh, for some reason, uh, it needs to be repaired every 20 hours or so. And uh, uh, in this sense, five printers are the sources of the customers, right? And uh, it has only five, and it's a finite source. Uh, therefore, this case has to be dealt differently from the other ones that we have talked about so far. And breakdowns follow a Poisson distribution, meaning uh, that uh, the arrival is following Poisson. And uh, uh, the technician can service a printer in an average about two hours following an exponential distribution. So lambda is 1 over 20 because it says each needs repair after about 20 hours of work. So one is going break, bro going broken every 20 hours. So that's why we say lambda equals 1 over 20 here. And mu is 1 and a half uh, because uh, uh, the repair person or the technician can service a printer in an average about two hours following on the exponential uh, dis distribution. So every two hours, one can be done. So mu equals one over two is half printers per hour uh, can be serviced, right? So we have to find a, a universal analysis that is going to be done by hour. And we found lambda and mu from the information given here. Then we can use the formula that we have learned from the last slide. Uh, so P0, uh, after using this formula, we find that uh, P0 is 0 0.564. We're starting with P0 because it is essential for us to find the other information, such as LQ, uh, which is 1 minus P0. So we have to have this P0 first. That's why uh, step one is P0. And this is a complicated uh, calculation. And step three is L. And it's from um, uh, the formula that we learned. And step four, W, Q, and, and W are all calculated. And step six is if printer goes uh, down, cost $120 per hour, and the technician is paid $25 per hour, uh, the total hourly cost, this is given from the question, uh, the total hourly cost in this case is going to be average number of printer down times uh, cost per downtime hour plus this is uh, uh, you know the service time and uh, the waiting time and plus cost per technician hour that's a service time if you add them together it's about 101 dollars and 80 cents 
So that's how you calculate this case. And let's now take a look at uh, uh, Excel uh, so that we can solve this one together.